Oh, would you look at that? The gang's all here, and more importantly, you, little Rim Rim, are here too. Welcome, my fellow lovers of robots. A little bit too much, and now have suspicious electrical burns that you have to explain to the doctor. That's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello. Um, th so there was no episode yesterday because, uh, quite frankly, it was not only the worst e episode of Remod I've ever produced, um, but it was perhaps the worst episode of Remod that would ever be uploaded to this channel. And I, I recorded it and edited it and then watched it back. And honestly, the, the vomit that came from my mouth at how terrible the episode was landed on the delete key and it was consigned to hell forever. So if you're wondering why there is no introductory screen, of course, to part two of our journey to the Arco Nexus, uh, then that's why. I'm sure it said something very interesting about our journey and our introspection and growth as characters and how, uh, more importantly, we had to leave behind slightly more than I anticipated. So partly the reason I decided to scrap yesterday's episode is A, because it was terrible, but B, because I uh, was thoroughly unprepared for the implications of doing what it is we have done right now, which is, of course, A, playing on Winston Waves, as voted for your all a few episodes ago now, and B, starting without a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, that wasn't a mistake. I meant that very sincerely. We have no weapons. We do not have a single weapon. We have no weapons at all. In fact, this is all we have, which is slightly less than what we had. But, of course, I had to uh, re uh, effectively recreate the map because I played ahead a little bit more uh, and it ended up being terrible. So I scrapped the episode. So basically, I had to undo everything and regenerate the map. Don't worry about it, okay? Big smart brain things. So, yeah, we have nothing to defend ourselves with except for the relic, which very luckily we managed to get uh, before. <laughs> it's not even the relic anymore. It's just got Scarletite Cryo Katana. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, here we are. Uh, let's carry on then, shall we? Ready for the second part of our, our adventure, our journey. Now, with absolutely no weapons to defend ourselves. And partly the reason why I ended up scrapping yesterday's episode entirely was uh, because I wanted to try and find a good way to balance Winston Waves. Winston Waves, who are not intended to enable partway through the campaign when you've already built a character so powerful that raids rarely threaten her. Uh, so I balanced it, but maybe a little bit too much in the opposite direction. Um... Within four days, Winston Waves was powerful enough to uh, destroy the entire base. You just, uh, everything was ruined. <laughs> so it was not an ideal situation, I'll be honest with you. And there was also a slight bug where Maria didn't keep any of her clothes, which is very bizarre. Um, she doesn't have the mini turret anymore. She's probably missing some other things, I'll be honest. I didn't really keep track of it. And of course, the uh, weapon has reverted to just Scarletite Cryo Katana, which is really annoying. All of the gear is not reinforced. Well, that is a terrible oversight. Oh, except for the ammo pack. <laughs> My entire plan has fallen apart because it turns out either Winston Waves or reinforced stuff or the Arco Nexus are incompatible. So this is far harder than any of us could have anticipated. But you know what? I enjoy the challenge. And I mean, it's not exactly going to be that difficult. Look at our bloody characters. Another subject to characters. Somebody asked if I could go through all the characters. It's kind of a mid-season refresher, but also so that they can see where is your coat. Bruh. He's taking it off. Oh, it's not reinforced. Oh. <laughs> all the reinforcements seem to have... Have her powers reset? She hasn't got any powers. Wow, we really did lose everything, didn't we? That really does put this series in an interesting position. And that's when the colony realized that everything would be reset. The power of the Arco Nexus would remove all of the mechanites found within their clothing and clean the uh, heretical technology from their, their, their armor and weapons and equipment. Or at least that's what I'm trying to make up to desperately explain what's going on. Everything's ruined. It's fine. This is part of the challenge, because to be honest, that's part of the reason why I tried to rebalance Winston Waves. It would have been far too easy for us to just turn up with her gorse rifle and fight, you know, uh, two dudes. This is going to get significantly harder. Trust me, that's the mistake I made last time. It does get very difficult very fast. But you know what? I'm choosing to take this as the challenge. Anyway, as for our androids then, who uh, we have no gear. Our gear reset, but that's not a problem because we have the finest squad of droids you're ever going to see. We have 49 with his 34 intellectual. We have drunken master, fun-loving, nervous, and beautiful four. Little 49 there. We have Pan's Ram, the farming droid, green thumb, industrious jogger, strongback ecologist, menagerie, and animal lover with 23 double passion plant skill. 
big if true. Orgthal, 22 mining, groundbreaker, great memory, industrious, jogger, fast learner, strong back, and workaholic. And then finally, Queen Calamity herself with 24 crafting, double passion, 21 intellectual, all of those good traits and perfectionists are probably the one worth mentioning the most because that, of course, upgrades all the gear. And then there's Maria herself, but you, of course, know Maria at this point. Oh, silly me. I thought for a second Maria's powers had disappeared, but in fact, it turns out they've come back. Remember, we removed all of the weaknesses because she is promising candidate, despite the game's attempts to stop that. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Not only is this in the extreme deja vu, but it's even worse than the first time I recorded it. Oh, thank God they have this perfectly normal, very standard human daughter to keep them company. How is it taking you that long to dismantle a single vase? You're 16 feet tall! So the plan is very simple for my approach to Winston Waves. Winston Waves is very, 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 very difficult. Oh, we've still got all the research too, huh? I don't give a shit. <laughs> we... <laughs> It's just weirder and weirder. Winston Waves, as it turns out, is astoundingly difficult. Like, very, very, very difficult. Uh, and we will very quickly be outpaced, particularly because as part of turning over to Winston Waves as well, I have increased the difficulty, much to my chagrin. Normally, the research is supposed to be reset, and I did load back to the oldest game possible before we'd done the research. However, the research seems to have stuck around. However, I'm not complaining too much because it isn't that much research. Like, oh no, we could build a high-tech research bench slightly earlier than we could. We don't multi-analyzers or anything like that. So it's still going to be fairly slow going here, at least for a while. Is what I would say if 49 didn't have a ridiculous research speed. Something to do with uh, 3,530 research speed. Maybe it's a good thing that his jacket is no longer reinforced. Otherwise, this would take two seconds flat. Anyway, uh, we're going to stay as close to this as possible. And we really need to be... Trying to get through this as fast as possible because Winston Waves will not pull punches. Especially when you haven't got any reinforced gear that you spent a long time working on. No, no, no. That's uh, very, very strange, isn't it? Very strange indeed, Maria. Very strange. Queen C now holds the role of lead technician. What's going on? What? What's happening? <laughs> first things first. Queen C is going to cut every piece of stone on this map. We are going to build a wall around this entire base because it might be the only way we can survive and that was kind of my plan the first time i tried doing this before everything went horribly wrong but it turns out things have gone even horribly wrong so maybe i should have stuck with what i had how dare i try and deliver quality content what a mistake <laughs> what a horrible mistake hey throw those on the floor there you go that'll save you a little time are there any other surprises i need to know about before we before we continue is this normal this all seems very normal that's good is there anything else i could have possibly overlooked the world has that changed it has. Who are all these factions? Discorder, we know that one. Who are you? Queen's Eternal Domain, we know that one. I don't know who these people are. Those are letters I don't even know. And what Maria didn't realize, what 49's mighty researching intellect could have never predicted, that a step to gaining the Arco Nexus map also was a portal to a parallel dimension where equipment reinforcing did not exist and the world was slightly different. And also you had research and no weapons. It's a very specific set of circumstances within this parallel universe. But that is the magic of Arco Tech. <laughs> this is ruined. It's all ruined. Embrasures? How bloody long have we had embrasures for? Oh. <laughs> please, please don't tell me that we've had that the entire campaign. You know what? I don't want to know, okay? I don't even want to know if we've had that this entire run so far. I just do not care anymore. It's only off-center, isn't it? The uh, the old um, Arco uh, structure there doesn't look quite right. It should be shifted up a little bit more. It definitely should be shifted up. Unless it's counting all the way up to the top. Yeah. Oh, no, that doesn't look right at all. You thought the Mr. Cringe series was the one that would be uh, the, the sanity questioning one. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm being gaslit right now. Somebody has loaded up this save and changed everything. It was me earlier, but not to this extent. <laughs> Unless I'm misremembering far more than usual. Yes. Build us a wall worthy of Maria. It's a single line of slate. Oh, it's almost quite offensive. If someone dedicated a wall to me and it was just like a waist-high slate square, I'd probably be quite offended. Queen Calamity is going into a food binge. Why? Final straw was violence obsessed. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, yeah, you love violence so much you're going to eat food? 
What's wrong with you? Hello? Violence obsessed. Minus nine. I haven't hurt someone for a long time, but this is all I can think about. I need to hurt someone. Oh, that's not concerning at all. Rebuff by Panzram, minus five. Rebuff by Orgthal, minus five. No form and minus five. And cut a groin or dress. Trust me, we're all suffering from that one, pal. It's a minus four all round. Missing a boardroom. Missing sanity. No metallic armor. I couldn't make any big enough. And then worst of all, she's a fan of the movie The Joker. Or was it just called Joker? I don't think it really matters anymore. Console your daughter, damn it. She's d struggling with this desert environment. What are you worried about? Or oh, violence, we're aware of that. Do not stare too deeply at the Arco Nexus because it may stare back when you least expect it. You'll look in a mirror and then over your shoulder, boom, Arco Nexus. What if we were the Arco Nexus all along? What if this is just a reflection of ourselves? The four pillars representing the core tenets of humanity. North, East, South, and West. Now, obviously, the middle Architect structure is the thing that we actually have to study. What do these do? Architect Towers. I remember the first time I did this, it was, um... Somehow even more of a fever dream than this series, if I remember correctly. This is well and truly obscene. <laughs> this is well and truly insane. You guys good? Yeah, everybody fine back here? Jilt looks fine. He looks really, really pleased with the decision. A moderately sized Architect Tower rising from the ground. It doesn't do anything. I used to be a graying tower alone on the sea if you can believe that <laughs> sea as in ocean not sea as in like calam not queen sea not queen calamity like the like the ocean where fish live and a staggering amount of microplastics is that still the other relic no <laughs> it's just a really good helmet and actually at this point if these don't really do anything maybe we could just give that to maria Plus 2% works to be minus... Oh, minus 6% aiming time. Look, even minus 6% aiming time is still something. Now, the ammo bag is still reinforced. Ha explain that one. Go on, then explain that one. Why is nothing else remembered what it is except the bloody bag? Anyway, uh, the good thing about that is that's arguably the most important thing that we could have kept because that reduces the... Don't tell me, I'll remember. I know these things. 4,000, 5,000 hours, but it reduces the cooldown factor, which is obviously very important uh, because that means that we could just craft a crossbow. See, I knew what I wanted to say. I just hadn't quite got there yet with the rest of my mind. That means we can craft a crossbow or a bow or whatever, and it'll still, you know, we'll still blot out uh, the sun with our arrows. We, is that the right? How does it go again? So in fact, if we just immediately build like a uh, electric smithy, come at a fueled smithy because there's no wood. Well, because it's a desert. Oh, it's an extreme desert. The coolest desert there ever possibly could be. What have we got in terms of power, then? What research have you given me? Oh, this is an eclectic mix. Oh, good. At least we've kept tidal generators. That's very helpful. Windmills, turbines, geothermal. Oh, we've got all the important things. Now, I'm not going to build geothermal generators because, quite frankly, there's something far more important we could build on hot springs. Oh, shit. I ruined it. Can I try that one again? Here in Backwards Land, maybe we build the uh, steam vents on the... Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. Hot spring. Ah... We need 100 wood. Well, there goes that idea then. Okay. <laughs> ah, what, a, what a time to be alive, huh? Uh, let's take a Helixium pump. That seems pretty good. That seems quite reliable. Um, and then we'll just pump that straight into there. Why don't we keep it all nice and compact? Just all nice and together. That couldn't possibly backfire, keeping your entire power grid clustered around a natural gas deposit. That will certainly not backfire, except entirely. There you go. And then we'll stick a little wall around that too, just to give it a little more defense. A nice non-flammable slate wall. That way, when this breaks down and we need to repair it, it's impossible. On, it's an unfathomably good idea. 3,600 watts just like that. Wow. We didn't have to do anything. Well, in that case, hold on. Let's put these exceptionally flammable and very frequently exploding batteries right next to the gas deposits. No, that's very silly. Let's build a slate wall between them. Then let's do exactly that. <laughs> uh, apparently, we kept auto doors. And regular doors, of course. Generally, one leads to the other. That's I, I, I cannot explain why we've been given some research, but not others. Okay, so we have basic beds, but we have none of the advanced stuff. We don't have multi-analyzers, but we've got the powered console. That's good. We have bins. You'll have bins, because we've got them. We've got them in droves. This is ridiculous. Do we have cheese? We have cheese! You thought this would be a series where the challenge increases uh, relative to the gear that we have reinforced over the course of thousands and thousands of steel. Uh, blood, sweat, tears, wave after wave of enemy. All of that condensed down into a single weapon or piece of armor. No, 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 that's gone now. We have nothing. Nothing but meat. Actually, we don't even have meat. We have nothing. There's no animals. There's no plants. In fact, there's no plants. What are you doing? Build a fucking state-of-the-art growing android and then have it mining? <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Whoa. Look at that. You're gonna grab the most exceptionally cursed rice you've ever seen. Nothing like a delicious bowl full of psychic rice to let you hair color. How are we doing? That's looking quite nice. Oh, I love the design on the batteries. That's really good. Okay, well, let's actually connect them up to the batteries, and then we're, we're basically off to the races, right? We've somehow already got 3,000 steel. What? We didn't start with any steel at all. Orgthal. Orgthal, my mining friend. What are you doing to this steel, brother? <gasps> 108? Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense either. Hold on. A groundbreaker gives, what, 20, 20, 20%? Rogue Android, was it? Or Miner? He was... He was getting another 25% from somewhere. But I'm not sure where... Oh, was it the construction module? Yeah, there's another 25%. Okay, well, 20 plus 25 is 45%. You normally get about 40 from uh, a single steel deposit. I can tell you right now that 40 plus 45% is not 108. That's some reward maths even I can't get behind. Um... I don't understand why you're making so much, mu so much steel. Mining speed, deep draw speed, two thousand percent. Wait, mining yield two hundred eighty-three percent. Explain, tell me. Twenty twenty-five. Ideal legend gives ten percent. Fair enough. Mining gives uh, of twenty-two gives one hundred and thirteen percent. Manipulation at thirty percent importance though times two hundred and fifty-six percent. Oh, good God. Well, we won't need resources again. Imagine when we get deep drills, though. This guy deep drills at 2,500% a regular person. We might even have deep drills in this crazy world. Let me guess. It's giving me everything but the thing I need to make resources. It actually has. Really? Deep drill? We've got a deep fryer. Not quite the same thing. Oh, what on earth was that? Hello? Hostile faction caravan. It's a, it's a faction of wizards. And they're wizard cows. Oh, it's wizard vikings. One, two, three, four wizards, and all we've got to defend ourselves is a not relic sword. When he says passing by, it looks as if they're heading right for the compound. Um, Winston? It's supposed to be wave based survival. I didn't agree to this. Yeah, you keep your distance. Okay, they are not keeping their distance. I think we're going to have to try and kill them. Oh, hold on. What have they got, though? We have a nice mage. That's good. A paladin, that's good. A fire mage. Uh, insatiable, that's not a superpower. Uh, what have we got here? Lightning mage. Okay, so uh, a nice combination of things to potentially cook Maria with. Well, let's get right into the middle of those mages then, shall we? They are coming straight for the base. I feel like we might as well take the fight to them before it all kicks off. Get him. Oh, they shot their friend. Maria, 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 kill the mage, kill the mage, kill the mage. Come on. We have to micro a little bit here. I apologize, this is going to be sweaty rimworld, by which I mean, stop. I don't know what he was doing. He was trying to heal. You do not heal. Nobody heals here. Cast success. We got angel wings. Arcadius, what was that? Oh, deflect, deflect, deflect. Go for someone else. Oh, Lord. Maybe we can get a ranged weapon from them, though. Even a harpoon would be pretty good, right? Because you can throw them super fast. A kill locust slayer. Wow. Actually untouchable. I told you these wizards were bloody powerful. This wizard, we can't, we can't hit. Even though she's got 17 melee. Well, this seems a little rude. Yeah, don't come back. This is our territory now, this desert. Lucrative desert trade, of course. Hey, come on. Oh, it's broken. Get her. Nice. Give me that harpoon. Uh, strip. Give me that harpoon. That's my harpoon. Yes. Uh, can we put us a sidearm? Oh, it's gonna blow up. Oh, well, that was... A little slower than I anticipated. Oh, wow. That actually is pretty fast fire, huh? Well, it's not very accurate, but a rapid fire harpoon is better than no harpoon. Oh, actually, it's terrible. I take everything I've just said back. Give me a bow. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take that instead. See if that's any better. Uh, poor longbow. Wow, this is very certainly a downgrade. Oh, my God. But look at the range on it, though. Oh, wait, that person got back up. They resurrected. Oh, man. She's actually firing that bloody fast. Hey, the bow works good. Okay, I'm happy with that. The bow is quite nice. Okay, that's that's fantastic. What a gain. I feel like I should probably plant some wood because there are so many things that need wood just to be able to be built in the first place. So let's throw down a sign uh, like, like weapons, for example. If you want to build a crossbow or whatever, we're not going to be able to do that with uh, steel. It's not particularly tensile. Let's go for... Well, I mean, it is. Not, don't correct me. Uh, let's go for... 
cactus. Let's go for cactus. And then let's also throw down a little bit of cotton too, because there are some things that we'll just need that for pretty much every type of recreation. Oh. Oh, Panzeram is using uh, Queen Calamity as a giant bed. It's kind of horrible, actually. Thank you. Okay, no more messing around. Let's make sure that we've got all of this. I I'm going to go haul urgently all these chunks. Let's just bring them in. Let's bring them in and get this wall built as soon as possible. Ideally, we're going to need to double thick it up as well. Otherwise, that's just not going to... That's just not going to cut it. They'll get through that in no time. We, we just saw an invincible resurrecting wizard. This is that's not going to hold them. Why? Why have I built five bedrooms when two of them are in deep, deep love? The deepest of love. You have to be in pretty deep love to have a giant uh, blue minotaur daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. So I'm waiting for the inevitability of them finally accepting that love too must fade. Much like my very heavily reinforced armor that's disappeared. Hello? What? Who? The bringers of miracles? What? They're not hostile anymore? No. <laughs> Why are they friendly? What? I don't know if this episode is any better. I don't know if this is better. Instead of swapping us getting annihilated by Winston Waves at my own hand, we've swapped it for a, a mental breakdown. Hey, no wizards allowed. Piss off. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that, that'll do it. I mean, that problem is easily solved, isn't it? Maybe we should finish that person off before they explode and take out my psychic rice. <gasps> Did you hear that? We got a secret raid. Wait, oh, we didn't get the notification for it. Why? Well, I've never seen that before either. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's going on. That was something in my dinner. Oh my god. Whoa, shit. She dismantled them. Well, of course, we are playing Winston Waves, which means, I mean, Orgthal pretty much has the same reaction as me there. And of course, with Winston Waves, we do get delicious rewards at the end of each wave. Uh, 30 survival meals. Random normal level item, or we can take 20 components, 5 advanced components. I will take that. We did keep the advanced components that we needed to build the multi analyzer or anything. You don't need advanced components to build multi analyzer. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, hello? Oh, a single Viking. That's going to be challenging. They've decided to steal what they can and leave. Brilliant. Hey! <laughs> This is the height of the reward experience. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. And then suddenly the difficulty ramps up to five bloody wizards. Well, I don't think those are actually wizards. That clearly says, well, three seer archers. What makes a seer archer a seer archer? Is it a seer and an archer? Is it an archer that belongs to the seers? Because one of those is far more threatening than the other. All archers are seer archers. Otherwise, they wouldn't be very good archers, would they? <laughs> Why, Maria, I must say your wall is looking mighty long and hard and thoroughly impenetrable, except for probably very easy, because Slate is one of the weakest rocks in the game, but it might be the weakest. No, Sandstone's worse, isn't it? Well, I hope you feel safe with the cumulative 780 hit points between us and total utter annihilation. <laughs> At the hands of questionably magical archers. What have we got in terms of security then? Oh, excellent. A full suite of IEDs and absolutely fuck all. Oh, that's a fair point. Fox Flame, Channel Advisor Fox Flame, in their infinite wisdom, did say that we could use something like Rim Atomics turrets to man multiple turrets with one Maria. However, because we don't have Rim Atomics, we can't do any of that. What we can do, though, is build a goddamn cannon and man that instead. Cannons and wave based survival? The words bucko drink all over again. I miss bucko drink. A simpler time. We can build sandbags. We haven't got any cloth. We can build barricades. Oh, that one we can do. Uh, okay, here's a the plan then. Hear me out. Why don't we uh, build barricades? <laughs> <laughs> the logical conclusion, of course, of being able to build barricades is, in fact, building barricades. That is correct. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is not just build one barricade or two barricade, but I'm going to put some of that 7,500 steel that Orgthal has pulled out of his ass, and we're going to use that to build a mighty em emplacement. Um, can we put one there? No, it's slightly too long. Well, that's very annoying, isn't it? That's okay. I mean, I'm going to worry about the corners anyway. They'll never attack on a corner. And then we'll just do the same thing on this side. And assuming I haven't messed this up, that should be equal sizes. Yes. And then we take this. 
We take no, no, no. We take we take the whole thing, and then we just copy it and flip it. We'll put that on every single wall, and it'll be like the world's biggest pillbox, which is very appropriate, given that I feel like I'm going mad. I'm not trading with any uh, trade trading with anybody. What do you want? They're gonna give me a Sonic Neuroformer in exchange for 350 worthless magic rocks. I can't do anything with. You've got yourself a deal, sir. We can make Maria more magical to make up for the fact that she's not nearly as magical. And by magical, I mean has a bloody gorse lance. In fact, I'm sure we've got this magic rocks already if we were to just, you know, collect all of them on the map. There you go. See? Easy. Easy mission, mate. Um, I could send somebody fairly innocuous to do that. Panzram, I'm a farming expert, is quite frankly not going to be particularly useful on, on, um, a desert. It's a desert. Uh, where have I got to deliver these items to? Then jump to Eramendine. That's bloody miles away. Forget it. You can stick your Neuroformer up your ass. Great news. They were just archers belonging to... Is that firing like two arrows at once? Whoa, hang on. Am I going mad? This is just the shadow. <laughs> anyway, they were just archers belonging to Sears rather than Seer archers. So that works out pretty well for us. Um... I think it's just the animation, isn't it? it that's, a, that's a reward? A meteorite impact. Uh, how could I not? I'm an agent of chaos. <gasps> Golden ore! That's actually like... that. That is gold, though, isn't it? Wait. Containing bits of a golden mineral. We say gold ore. Did you just give me fool's gold? And more importantly, did I just fall for it? No, I... I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> well, you can't win them all. This time I didn't play a sound. <laughs> well, wave four, we're up against four enemies, which again isn't too bad. Bear in mind, that could be four wizards if we get particularly unlucky. But look, the wall is almost complete. Identical to how I built it in the cursed timeline that definitely didn't happen despite popular rumor. Hello there, it's Grid Slayer. Shark Slayer, White Crow, and Yorpson. Pathetic. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. Why, well, he stood up a little bit longer than all the others. That was kind of Im impressive. Oh. Meteor Storm. During the wave, meteors will fall on the map. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, four enemies incoming. One Tusk Gore, one Ancient Chaos Spawn. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've got a bow. <laughs> Yep, that, that, that seems about on par. That seems about on par. Bear in mind, this is like a 1.7 multiplier I've got on Winston Waves right now. That just means that the next wave is 1.7 times harder than the previous wave. When I first tried this, I had it set to 2, which, as you can imagine, was um fairly exponential. Kind of got out of hand pretty bloody fast. They're what, sorry? A group of chaos abominations from a chaos den have arrived nearby. They plant a log wood. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the chaos gods is the uh, chaos god of lumberjacks? Remind me. Oh, lord. Wow, we Those are all collectively hideous in their own unique way. Queen C, you'd fit right in. Don't like how you say that. It's terrible for a confidence. The meteors. What happens if a meteor strikes the Arcotech structure? Okay, it hasn't got health, but... I guess the I guess the structure would just supplant me. Careful, Maria. That would certainly kill you dead. Well, this seems fine. Actually, this seems fine. This seems okay. I'm not very confident about the ancient chaos spawn, but... Oh, right in the harness. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Wow, okay. I'll take the thousand silver. Oh, those ancient chaos spawns weren't all they were cracked up to be. Oh, it had asthma. Oh, it was already not doing well. And an artery blockage. Oh, gotta, gotta lay off all that fast food, ancient chaos spawn. Quake in fear at the power of Maria and her asthma ridden chaos spawn slaying bow. What a day. And I said it before, but I'll say it again. What I have done is I've swapped a bad, unentertaining episode for a full on mental breakdown, which hopefully will entertain some people because I think that's the majority of the reason why a lot of you subscribed. Ah. <sighs> But hey, the defenses are done. The base is ready. I'm working on a little extension there. We're going to throw a little did a little freezer, a little research lab. In the middle, we'll have some recreation, some tables. It'll be a lovely time. And then all we have to do is to research that and leave. And then Winston Waves can also leave and never, ever, ever come back, ever. It's a simple work, but it's an honest work. And that's all that matters in life. Thank you for joining me on this journey through my inner psyche of confusion and uh, excitement and logging chaos monsters. Thank you to my favorite logging chaos monsters of all.
the patrons. For today, I thank you goes out to Zevenwolf, Anthony Frackenthal, An Abomination, Elaine, The Lady of Chaos, Crimson, Angry Welder, Killer Clown, Azazol Validus, Hoofenspiel, Out of All Context, Holy Reapers, Ken the Eagle, The Link King, Evelyn X, Dracovia, El Chalupa Cabra, and Fizzle Buns, along with everyone else, of course, at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for their support over on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. No one will notice I made a mistake there. Thank you. In addition to Zany, Kexoli, Ordinary Kaiju, Stresher, Plondo, Pandemic, Squidita McGruff, Edgemere, This Flex, Jimmy Bailey, Bo 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 Bo, Gavin, The Dead Mask, Bug888, and Pim. Thank you. Thank you. Come back tomorrow, assuming I'm still here, and we'll do something similar, but hopefully better which is asking a lot and probably under-delivering.